The country's focus is on Atlanta this weekend, as you know, with the deadly police shooting at Wendy's reigniting calls for police reform. 11 Alive's Elvin Lopez looks at what solutions work for another city to cut crime nearly in half while improving community relations. A continued call for police reform after 27-year-old Rayshard Brooks was shot and killed following a struggle with two APD officers in a Wendy's parking lot in Southwest Atlanta. In a press conference Saturday, Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms announced the city police chief's resignation, as well as a new look into the city's use of force. We have already convened an advisory committee to examine our use of force policies in our city and expect feedback within the next two weeks with final recommendations within the next 45 days. Searching for solutions amid calls to defund the police and reallocate police funding. Others also suggesting a different approach, community-oriented policing, something that is already being done in Camden, New Jersey for the past seven years. Since 2013, the department says it has seen a 40% drop in violent crime, saying it is working for them. 1,000%, yes. Camden Police Department also adopted an 18-page use of force policy. APD's is eight pages. Camden's policy puts de-escalation first. Only under certain circumstances can deadly force be used and just as a last resort. According to Bloomberg, the changes came to Camden when the department wanted to put more officers on patrol but couldn't afford to hire more because of union contracts. So in 2013, the mayor and the city council dissolved the local police department and signed an agreement for the county to provide shared services. 